x square plus 14x plus 33. Now tell me, choose two numbers whose sum is 14 and whose product is 33. Give me the answer quickly. Think and tell. First step is thinking. Yes, two numbers whose sum is 14 and product is 33. We have to think of two numbers. Yes, 11 and 3. You say 11 plus 3 is 14 and 11 into 3 is 33. So how we are going to write it now? That is important. This is equal to x squared plus. Now you are breaking this middle term, splitting this middle term into two parts. What are those two parts? 11x plus 3x. And writing the last one plus 33. This is equal to. Now take common from the first two terms. X. So you get X plus 11 plus 3 is common. Yes, you get X plus 11. Now what is common in these two terms? Very good. X plus 11 is common. So we get X plus 11 into X plus 3. I hope the process is clear to you. So are we ready to do one more question? Yes, we will take up another one. So, next question is, factorize y square minus y minus 6. Yes, quickly tell me two numbers whose sum is coefficient of y. What is the coefficient of y? Minus 1. And product is the constant term. That is minus 6. So, we have to look for two numbers whose sum is minus number 1 and product is minus 6. Very good. Tell me. Keep thinking. Okay. Have you got it? Yes. Minus 3 and 2. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 and minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. So how we will write this? y square minus 3y plus 2y minus 6. Take common y from the first two terms. You get y minus 3 plus 2 is common in the next two terms. We get 2 into y minus 3. Now we see y minus 3 is common. So the answer is y minus 3 into y plus 2. These are the factors of y square minus y minus 6.